Well, uh, Phil, which is the ranger's name, gave me some insider tips on how to find the spring. He said there might be some good camping areas down there, so I'm gonna dip down a little bit onto the crest trail and set up my camp and go refill some water if I need to and call it a day. I think this was successful. Mission complete. Made it to the top of Hillsboro and bonus, got to go up into the tower. Great times. So, I put my pack down, and uh, my plan is uh, to walk down, because he says a, bit, a ways down, to the spring. And I'm taking a couple things to fill up, and uh, then kind of scout it out, see if there's any good camping spots, because if not, I may just find a little area in this part and set up my hammock here. But, yeah. Wish me luck, everybody wild raspberries. Look at all these raspberries. How cool is that? What else comes with wild raspberries? Bears. <laughs> Not big bears, but you know. Gotta watch out, they love their berries. So I don't usually do this, but I picked a few raspberries. I'm gonna clean them off and I'm gonna try one of these guys. Long time ago, I had wild strawberries when I was a little kid, so I'm pretty excited to try, try some wild raspberries. Here we go. Oh my God, they're so delicious. I'm definitely gonna take some back to camp. Also right now, since I'm here at the spring, I decided to fill up my Sawyer squeeze. So I have some cooking water for tonight. I don't have to use any of my drinking water. Even though it's filtrated, I still, you know, you know, I would trust it. If I had to really drink this water, I would drink it. I'm not getting it from in here in this uh, concrete bathtub because there's a lot of stuff swimming around in it and it's just stagnant water. But this, uh, this spring is coming from somewhere. I don't know where. It's kind of crazy because this is out in the middle of nowhere. Out in the middle of nowhere. I like literally miles and miles and miles away from nothing except that ranger station up there. No roads into here. So it makes me curious who brought the materials to make it up here. But whoever did, I'm fully grateful. So this is gonna take some time. Topped off. Cool. Yeah. I decided to sleep in a hammock system with the rainfly I bought, and so I set that up. And then uh, from there, I just gathered some firewood, gathered up uh, some stones, dug a pit, made a little fire fireplace, and uh, relaxed. Watched the sunset off through the trees. It was actually pretty cool. Uh, started the fire and ate some dinner and then uh, went to bed. I slept like a baby.
time to start gathering some uh, some decent firewood. Some stuff that'll last for a bit. So uh, here I go. First things first, gloves. Always need the gloves, gloves, gloves. Cause my name is Wade. I'm out here in the woods, not getting paid. My name is Wade. The sun is setting, so I need to gather wood. But instead of gathering wood, I'm rapping on my phone, cause I could. Mm, hacky sack dance, yeah. <laughs> This is a mission mission accomplished. Now I'm about to hit the hit the sack and go to bed. So see you guys in the morning. Good morning everybody. It is 60 degrees. And I slept like a baby in this hammock. I woke up a couple times last night because the wind kind of picked up, but it wasn't too bad. It wasn't alarming. I went right back to sleep. <sighs> I'm going to make some coffee and breakfast now. <laughs> but that next morning, got breakfast, packed down camp, uh, kind of cleaned up. Uh, moved the stones away, made sure the fire pit was really out, and then uh, took off, headed out. It is 9.30. It's about the same time I started yesterday on the trail. Uh, I purposely kind of slept in because I was just comfy. So, yeah, don't judge me. I was just comfy. But double check, I got everything, got my pack loaded, and uh, it's time to get out of here, huh? What do you say, time to get out of here? Uh, hopefully I get down. It's supposedly supposed to be a storm coming, but so far I don't see any trace of it, but it's only morning. These things can pop up pretty quickly. So, all right. Later, everybody. Or, later, everybody. Or, goodbye. I made it to this uh, cool little area uh, that uh, was off to the left before I went back up towards the peak. And I was like, you know, I'm going to go check it out. So I, I went down there. Uh, climbed up some rocks and actually the view there was it was phenomenal. I Am so glad I went out there and checked it out got quite a bit of footage off of it And I just it's just amazing to stare that far out at just uncharted territory Backpacking back out of here. I saw a little uh little trail that led this way I'm glad I came over here because this site is magnificent. Let me show you what I'm seeing.
Even with that storm approaching, I still had to take a moment and sit on that ledge. Just to look out at the landscape. It was impressive. But it got me wondering, how much of this area has actually been explored? And how much history is in this mountain range? I'm talking about the history that we don't know. Believe it or not, even though the sun's kind of out, it's a... Uh... It's like very lightly sprinkling right now. Not much clouds in the sky above me, but never know, it could come up within an hour. So I'm gonna stand here and video, video record, no, what am I saying? I'm gonna stand here and record myself until the storm hits. Waiting. 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 I give up. It's never gonna hit. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go home. All jokes aside though, I knew this was about to get serious because I could hear the thunder off in the distance. And once the storm started closing in on multiple sides and I started getting precipitation, I made the one mistake I shouldn't have. I waited too long to get my rain gear out. So by this point, I was soaked. I'm just going to leave this out here for everyone watching. If you know you're about to get hit by a storm, just take the time to get your rain gear out, put your fly on your pack, or even set up a temporary shelter if you have to. Because things can get really bad really quickly. I started going down that trail as quickly as I could. There's even parts where I started running. And then uh, it started thundering around me. And then it started hailing on me. I couldn't believe that. I was like, what? Wh where's this coming from? I got hail now to deal with. Not only rain, I got rain, I got thunder, and now I got hail. Luckily, I was really close to the very end. I was close to my truck. So as soon as I saw the parking lot, I beelined it to my truck. And I realized I didn't have my keys and I doubled back to the porta potty area and uh, I just put my pack down in there, opened the door up, used the pack to keep the door open and got a fresh pair of warm clothes on. I can't complain. I completed this mission and I only got hit with bad weather at the very, very end. Thank you.